<laughs> What's going on YouTube viewers, it's your dude here, Miss Dragon, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to another fight. Well, the last video was actually pretty much a description of how the martial arts styles are created, oriented, and how they were formed. Right now, we're actually going to see best Taekwondo knockouts. That's right, best Taekwondo knockouts by from professionals versus beginners. So what's going to happen is what it's going to be. By the way, those of you who do not understand any techniques in martial arts such as Taekwondo. I'm a Taekwondo fighter as well. Uh, I'm actually a blue belt, gold stripe uh, Taekwondo and ATA martial arts. Don't believe me? Check this out. Five. See? See, I used to be a student down at ATA martial arts. See, those of you who don't know, it's American Taekwondo. For those of you who are not American, of course. No offense to those. I love everybody. Don't come at me. <laughs> See, look, I got the design right here in Korean. Not only that, Oh, it's on this leg. <laughs> Silly me. It's also right here on the pants leg. One thing for sure, I love Taekwondo. Ta next to Kapoweta, Taekwondo is also one of my favorite martial arts styles to practice and to train in. I'm actually a very good kicker if you guys have not already known. If you've not seen my videos and on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook, I'll well, just let you know the link's in the description down below. So you just gotta click it. It's right there. Not really losing anything there, just click it. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to see some top knockout fights. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just oh, wait. No, sure. Oh yeah. I just can't help it. It's it's me. Anyway, before we carry on, guys, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up in a later future to help support this channel. Thank you guys so much, and I do mean thank you guys so much for 353 subscribers. Literally, thank you guys so much. It means a lot. Help me make it up to 400, and then soon enough, 1,000. And who knows? I might add some giveaways. But all depends on you guys. And hit that like. That like and subscribe. Subscribe most definitely support this channel. If you guys also want to purchase some merch. Like my logo here, Fox Dragon Hybrid. You know what to do. Anyway, let's carry on with the rest of the video, shall we? I wish I had my blue belt with me right now, but I only have my red belt from Karate. And my blue belt is somewhere in my bar. But I'm not gonna go digging through right now. I got other stuff. But right now, we're just gonna be going with my gi. So for right now, let's get on with the rest of the video, shall we? Right about now. All right, see what you got. Oh, dang. Oh. Out that Taekwondo is a martial art that is devoted to strength and speed. Combining these two elements can result in a hit if unavoidable. Oh, that kid with my resiliency <laughs> stars. Shoot. In this video, I will show 15 Ooh. occasions where fighters <laughs> wished they dodged the strike. I do sleeping. Number 15, spin kick knockout. Like this. Filmed and uploaded to YouTube, one fighter shared his experience at his first Taekwondo tournament. After taking a low kick, the opponent instantly responds with there a we go. spinning kick Dang, that immediately knocks him out. As expressed in the description, though the unfortunate fighter uh, wasn't injured, his pride definitely was. Well, yeah. Pow! Uh, oh. Easy as that with a slap back. 14, Axe kick. Like this. After the fight had to be restarted by the referee, the more aggressive of the two managed to land an axe oh. kick that hammered. Oh, he was like, yeah. I'm sure the red. Oh, he, he's look, he's coming back. Fight after a hit like that. Look, he's ready to come back. He's like, oh, you want to oh. He made the dude sit down. Oh, he was what? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Number thirteen, bizarre kick. After suffering an injury to his backside at the start of the flip, I think the, the name applies, guys. Soon pulls out a bizarre kick that looks more like a Muay Thai move, which seemingly defied gravity. See, so after the knockout, oh, wow. medics rushed onto the scene with a stretcher. See, that happens most of the times in Taekwondo. It might just tournament. Number 12, 12 second knockout. What started off as a standoffish exchange oh, okay, okay, soon escalated okay. when the blue fighter seemed to scale the torso of his opponent to deliver a devastating kick to the face. 
Oh, 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 oh. Number 11, Stephen Legro. Stephen Legro. The next clip was taken during the men's hyperweight sparring division at the Canadian ITF Taekwondo National Championships in Montreal. The knockout was delivered by Stephen Legro, who is now a master training others at his Warrior Code Academy. Things started off shaky for Legro, which then turned into a flurry of strikes from both sides. Dang. After Legro, oh, by the way, guys, this video is event, brutal TV. A spinning kick that came out of oh. nowhere, taking a victory. Okay, Legro. Oh, oh. It's kind of like a fake out, guys. So when you go for that one kick and it goes down, and your back is Number pretty much exposed 10, to the person Joe behind Rogan. you. You kind of like let them think that they have the upper hand, but in reality, you actually going to do that spin. He also in oh, hit him. Arts. As seen in this clip from the 1987 U.S. Taekwondo Cup in Connecticut. I mean, no disrespect for the game, guys. So, no well hate comments on that. As the match starts, Joe strikes like lightning, hitting the floor just as quickly. <laughs> he won. Look, he's like pow. And he won the wheel like it was nothing like. Number nine, Aaron Cook. Aaron Cook. What at first could have been mistaken for a very energetic dance was actually a bout at the first Mexican World Taekwondo Tour in November 2009. UK fighter Aaron Cook managed to land a powerful kick on his opponent Steven Lopez from the USA. If you look closely, the knockout actually happened while Aaron was falling to the ground. Yeah, that'll have a bizarre kick, guys. Powerful response. There is a reason why uniform is vital in Taekwondo. As this next clip painfully shows, freeballing it in the head department isn't going to end well if you get hit. After narrowly missing what seemed to be a powerful kick, the fighter wearing the karate kid style headband responds with a strike oh. that almost takes his opponent off his feet. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Chan Sung Jung. Chan Sung Jung. This next clip shows that a fraction more speed can be the difference between winning and losing. The two fighters launch their kicks, but the blue fighter managed to make his powerful high kick land first. The knockout was done by Chan Sung Jung, who is known for his mixed martial arts career as well as competing in the UFC's featherweight division. Oh, right in the face. Number six, flying tornado kick. This next fighter was a little too friendly when offering the second glove to my dog's in the way. Watch that out. resulted in him looking like a deer in headlights when a flying tornado kick took him off his feet. There he you is. Think twice about being so. I do it again with my dog right here. They're like, what now? Number five, Sean Martin. This next clip was filmed at the Meath Opens in 2011. What started off as a pretty average fight ended with Sean Martin delivering a well-timed axe oh. kick that echoed through the whole hall. By the reaction of the referee, I don't think she saw that coming. My dude counting the 10. Look <laughs> all the crap, count the 10. But here's the thing for me, guys. When I'm in like tournament stuff, I want to be the good person. I don't want. There's nothing else. Oh yeah, not you out. Guess what? Step like that. I step over them. Nah, that's number four. That's not me. El Wapo. Me, I rather um like make sure they all right, bring them back up. Cause we're just a friendly competition. I'm not saying I'm gonna like go easy on them. No, I'm going strong, going hard. Liver shot that caused his opponent to drop into what appears to be a knockout. That must have hurt. Oh. Number three, Taekwondo and UFC. My dog is literally. During this UFC, Chihuahua is like the victor oh. used his Taekwondo skills to repeatedly take powerful shots that ended with a perfectly timed tornado kick. Oh. Face down in the ring. So that was a beautiful. 
tornado kick right there. Also a beautiful spinning side kick. You probably can tell the dude was tired. Like, just lay there, dude. Don't get up. Just lay there. Number two, complacent fighter. This next clip shows what can happen if you underset your opponent and take a more relaxed stance in a fight. The end result was a strike that reminded him not to judge a book by its cover. Exactly. See, that was a towel. See, it's like he got knocked out and came right back. A towel. Oh, your guard's down. Whoa, towel. Number one. Steve Lambden. Yeah, I mean, I don't really approve of people putting their guards down while they're Steve like in a middle of a tournament. I don't care how good you are. It resulted in a broken jaw. I missed it. The knockout was so severe it sent the fighter. I don't care how good you are. State. You do not put your guard down. And I'm gonna bait the person. <laughs> Another bizarre kick. That concludes our list of the most epic Taekwondo knockouts. As shown in today's video, uh, there's a reason why the Taekwondo uniform is crucial. There it is. If some of those hits had impacted with the head directly, the fighters might not have stood up and walked away afterwards. And he's right. He really is right. See, I don't think you guys understand this. Let me go ahead and elaborate. When it comes to martial arts, whether it be Taekwondo, Karate, Muay Thai or kickboxing. When you when you are in a ring or a mat, for some cases, you do not put your guard down. That's one thing I do not want to like keep in my mind. Like if I'm if I'm sparring with somebody, I don't want my arms to go down. I don't go like this. Not unless I am absolutely sure that this person is more tired than I am, or this person is literally like literally just gasping for breath. Whether it be he or she. I don't want you to start thinking that I'm like, my arms are down and I'm thinking that like, you're not worth my time. No, I, you are worth my time. There's a reason why I'm here sparring or fighting gets you. So, that's one thing you gotta keep in mind. Other thing, is that I, just because, guys, just because I'm not like, I have my belt with me right now and I'm not like fully, like, putting the, this on, like my, my gi on right now. Well, I mean, I got my pants, you already see, it's not the full belt. I have more, I have, Major respect for all the martial styles I have been in. Don't you guys put in the comments that I'm disrespecting. Ever. I am not disrespecting. This is me. This is representing. Trust me. If I was disrespecting, this wouldn't be on me. All right, YouTube viewers, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming out later on on my future channel. Or well, on this channel, actually. And of course, if you guys want to help support the channel, one thing for sure, hit that like, subscribe, and of course, purchase the merch. I mean, it's free. Well, not the merch. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys have any other suggestions, martial art wise, go ahead and put them down in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later. This video was actually a brutal TV video and luckily I didn't get copyright, so I am glad I got to this video game. See you guys later, sir. See you guys soon. Bye. Too late to reignite our